Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Settle down. We'll get started. Good morning. My name is Steve Tully. I'm the Veterans Day coordinator here, also the advisor to the Leadership Education Program. Thank you very much for being here. I'd like to welcome all of you to the 26th annual Air Shirley Regional High School Veterans Day program, sponsored by the Air Shirley Regional High School, Massachusetts Army National Guard Leadership Education Program. I have two requests from the audience. First, please turn off your electronic devices, and second, take some time after our program today to search for a veteran and express your gratitude for their service to this nation. We have no school on Monday, November 11th, next Monday, an observance of Veterans Day, so that we can honor, recognize, and remember our veterans. I encourage you to read and or watch a documentary on veterans. I'd like to thank the students and staff who have been involved with this year's program, as well as all of the students in the audience for your cooperation, behavior, and undivided attention in advance as we honor our veterans. To them, I say thank you and welcome. Thank you, veterans. Next, I would like to thank local veterans organizations, as well as those from across Massachusetts. Special thanks to the Army National Guard from Massachusetts, who has sponsored a leadership education program since it was first introduced to our students in the fall of 2004. Staff Sergeant Matthew Russell is here. He's our new contact, so, so thank you very much, Sergeant. Ms. Karen, Ms. Karen Baldino, owner of Karen's Kitchen, and her staff who cooked, prepared, and served the delicious breakfast this morning for our veterans and our students who attended. Flowers by Stella and Panaz Florist for the beautiful arrangements and carnations. Mr. Swenson for designing our certificates. Mr. Rocco for covering my class this morning and hosting the veterans. She also came to the breakfast. Ms. Cochran for the use of the library and medical and media center and Mr. Diane Jones for setting up coffee and muffins for, for the veterans. Mr. Diffin, Mr. Mazu, Mr. Donovan, Ms. Harrington, Ms. Leticia, Mr. Seguin, Ms. Baer for hosting veterans this morning in their classrooms, Mr. McKenna, Mrs. Creighton for, co for covering my class as well this morning. Thank you so much. Mr. Powderly and the band who will play the national anthem after I conclude the faculty welcome. Students from the Leadership Education Program, Student Council, and other volunteers. The Air Public Access Corporation, Incorporated, James Costigan and Barry Schwetzel, who himself is a veteran, as well as the classroom presentations that they went to cover this morning. Thank you. Hunter McKee and Annika Farley for making the computer slides and taking care of the sound, screen, and lights. Marilyn Jones from, from, from the Shoba Publications. Angelica Meese for helping me set up the library for our veterans on Friday. The Keystone Collaborative for making special gifts for the veterans. Ms. Rader and Ms. Costa for their assistance in advertising today's events. Mr. Debian for his assistance with securing the color guard and other logistics. Thank you very much, Mr. Debian. Ms. Rocco as well. Ms. Brenda Velez Rodriguez and Juan Rodriguez for the, her assistance over the years in, in helping to decorate the table with the empty seat, as you can see here to my left. Administration throughout the district and school committee members custodial and cafeteria staff, staff members for their flexibility with our events throughout the morning. Before Mr. Powerly and the Air Shirley Marching Band played the Star Spangled Banner and the Keystone Collaborative Elitist and the Pledge of Allegiance, we will have a moment of silence for our troops. You may have noticed the table with the empty seat. This is for our veterans who are no longer with us, but we are thinking of them and always will have a place for them at our table. More about the significance of this later on in the program. Past programs have been dedicated to Manny Velez, Preston Smith, his wife Miriam Smith, Frank Bolitsky, Harold Landry, Charlie Lewis, Doug Frederick, Ralph Winslow, Stan, Poke, Stan Kopech Sr., and his son Stan Kopech Jr., Gold Star Mother Zelda Moore, John Tully, my father, Larry Anderson, Walter Anderson, Robert Carlson, his, Mark, his son Mark Carlson, Norman Melanson, Norman Albert, Donald Wallace, and former faculty members, Phil O'Keefe and Russell Mann. This year's program is dedicated to the late Mr. Donald 
Deemer, a U.S. Air Force veteran and longtime Air High School educator, guidance counselor, teacher in charge, and coach. We thank Don as we, we thank Don as well as those veterans and family members I mentioned previously, and we also think of them in a very special way this morning. Our thoughts and prayers are with their relatives and friends. Now at this time, please stand for a moment of silence to, in honor of a memory of all veterans and our troops who are currently serving in the United States, both at home and abroad. Please remain standing as the U.S. Marine Corps 25th Regimental Color Guard from Devens represents the colors in for the playing of our national anthem by the Air Shirley Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Michael Powderly, and afterwards the sighting of the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mr. Sam Lindeen, Mr. Xavier Bailey, Mr. Zachy Sweeney of the Collaborative, who will also have special gifts for our veterans. The Color Guard, front and center. Now the playing of the national anthem. standing for the Pledge of Allegiance led by the Keystone Collaborative. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing. 
as U.S. Marine on a color guard, retires the colors, and they will stand at ease on the side of the auditorium. So please remain standing. Thank you, and please be seated. I would like to now introduce Ms. Nia Florencois, Mr. Brandon Webster, who will give the student welcome. Veterans Day program sponsored by the Airshirley Regional High School Leadership Education Program and the Massachusetts Army National Guard. Last year as a junior, I participated in this assembly as well. As president of the student body, I would like to thank all of our veterans who are here today and welcome them to our high school. Thanks to the Airshirley Marching Band for playing our national anthem and the Keystone Collaborative for leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance, as well as making little gifts for veterans. It is also prudent to recognize Mr. Deppy for his involvement in our Veterans Day program for over a decade. I would now like to welcome Mr. Brandon Webster, who will offer his thoughts and provide the second part of the student welcome. Thank you, Nia. I too would like to thank the veterans who are here in the auditorium today, as well as those who could not be here. Um, for this, for their service to this in the great nation. I would like to show my appreciation to the United States Marine Corps 25th Regimental Color Guard for being here today and remaining in formation throughout the entire program. <coughs> now, I would like to welcome Ms. Vanessa Abbott and Ms. Vanessa and Ms. Devin Gibbons, co-presidents of the Leadership Education Program for their remarks. <laughs> My name is Vanessa Abbott, and I'm Devin Gibbons, and we are co-presidents of the Leadership Education Program here at the high school. Today is a day in which we celebrate the contributions of the veterans who have served and those who are currently serving our nation. On behalf of the Leadership Education Program, we would like to formally welcome you all to this ceremony and thank the veterans for all they have done for our country. This is the 26th anniversary of the Leadership Education Program's Veterans Day Ceremony. As the years have gone by, this ceremony has developed into the wonderful experience we know it to be. It has allowed students and members of the community to hear the stories of local veterans and has reminded us to all be thankful for the dedication and bravery of all of our veterans. We hope that this ceremony will inspire you to appreciate and value our veterans and learn from their stories. 
We honor our veterans who have dedicated their time, interests, and lives to defending our country and preserving the freedoms of America. These veterans have worked tirelessly to make America the best it can be and to protect the citizens at all times. We thank the veterans again for their service and for the sacrifices they have made for our nation. With the, in the words of Joseph Campbell, a hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. Each and every veteran here today is a true hero, and we want to recognize them all for all they have done. Thank you for your time. and Devin for your thoughts on today and representing the leadership education program now please welcome Miss Angelica Meese, Miss Lillian Abelson and Miss Rihanna Spann as they give us some background on the history of Veterans Day and the meaning behind the lone circular table that you can all see table to my left is one of the hundreds of identical tables in the Veterans Administration medical facilities and United States military bases across the world. Each is set the same way, symbolizing those missing or captured and those waiting for their return. This table set for one is small to show the frailty of one prisoner alone. The tablecloth is white, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their county's call to arms. The black napkin represents the sorrow of captivity. The single red rose in the vase signifies the blood that many have shed to ensure the freedom of the United States of America. This rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who keep the faith awaiting their return. The red ribbon on the vase represents the red ribbon worn on the lapels of the thousands who demanded a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of the bitter fate. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless volunteers of families as they wait. The glass is inverted because they cannot toast with us. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope that lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. And last, the chair sits empty because they are not here. Every third Friday of September, um, America marks POW MIA Recognition Day. However, every day holds empty seats for those still waiting for the return of their loved ones. May they never be forgotten and one day come home. My name is Lillian Abelson. I'm Secretary of the Class of 2025. I'm Angela Camis. Part of class of 2025. Veterans Day, observed annually on November 11th, honors the brave men and women who have served in the United States Armed Forces. The day was originally known as Armistice Day, marking the end of World War I. In 1938, Armistice Day became a national holiday, primarily focusing on honoring World War I veterans. However, as the nation faced subsequent conflicts, including World War II and the Korean War, the need aroused to recognize all veterans who have served in various capacities. In 1954, President Eisenhower officially renamed the holiday Veterans Day. This broadened its scope to celebrate the contributions and sacrifices of all U.S. military veterans, both past and present. This change reflected a growing national awareness of the importance of honoring those who risk their lives for our freedoms, leading to a deeper appreciation of the diverse experiences of veterans throughout American history. The observance of Veterans Day has evolved over the decades to include a wide range of activities that honor services, Members from all conflicts, communities across the nation hold post parades, memorial services, and educational programs to foster awareness and appreciation for them. Schools often engage students through projects and discussions that highlight the sacrifices made by service members. The day serves as a powerful reminder of the things we enjoy, made possible through the courage and dedication of those who have worn the military uniform. By recognizing Veterans Day, we promote values of patriotism and respect, inspiring younger generations to honor the legacy of those who have served. God bless our troops, and God bless America.
Thanks Angelica, Lillian, and Riona for providing the historical background for this very important holiday, as well as the significance of the low table. Next, I would like to welcome Superintendent of the Air Shirley Regional School District as he offers his remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Adam Renda. Good morning, everyone. Before I get started, I would just like to thank Mr. Tully for the huge amount of work that he undertakes every year to put on this program. So, Mr. Tully, I don't know where we are out there. I can't see with my reading glasses on, but thank you. So I'm honored for this opportunity to talk to you today about a day that holds profound significance for our nation. As high school students, you may wonder why this day is so important and what it means for us as citizens. Veterans Day is not just a day off from school or a chance to go shopping. It's a day dedicated to honoring the brave men and women who have served in our armed forces. These individuals have made tremendous sacrifices leaving their families and homes to protect the freedoms we enjoy every day. They have faced unimaginable challenges, risking their lives in service to our country. And many of them have returned home, bearing physical and emotional scars that could last a lifetime. I want you to imagine for a moment the weight of those sacrifices. Many veterans have fought in wars far from home, enduring difficult conditions and making life or death decisions. They did this not just for themselves, but for all of us, to ensure that we can speak freely, <laughs> practice our beliefs, and live, the lives, live our lives without fear. As young people, it is crucial for you to understand the impact of these sacrifices. You might find yourself in a position to serve your country one day, whether it's in the military or by contributing to your community in other ways. Recognizing and honoring veterans reminds us that freedom isn't free. It comes at a cost, one that is paid by those who choose to wear the uniform. On this Veterans Day, I encourage each of you to take a moment to reflect on what it means to serve and sacrifice. Reach out to a veteran that you know or participate in community events honoring their service. Let's make a, let's make a commitment, not just today, but every day, to appreciate the sacrifices made for our freedom and support those who have served. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Renda, for offering your remarks as the leader of our school district and for your continued participation and support for this program. Next, please welcome to the podium our keynote speaker from Clear Path for Veterans New England, on Devon. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Mr. Billy Auger. Thank you very much. Um, so you all know the difference now between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Um, you don't have to wait until Veterans Day to thank a veteran. If you see someone in line at Duncan's, whatever, see somebody walking down the street and they're wearing a veteran's cap or shirt or something like that, you want to make somebody's day, just say thank you. Thanks for serving. Thanks for being brave. Uh, buy him a coffee. Just something small. You never know. You might um, you might help that veteran. Maybe that veteran will help you. My name is Billy Auger. I was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. Um, still am. Uh, I did four years. As some of you heard, you know, I've been through a few things. I've not done nearly as much as some of these other veterans that are here. Um, you know, what you're, one of the things you're thanking the veterans for that I like to appreciate is the bravery. So bravery is not the absence of fear. They're not fearless. Veterans 
were brave despite being afraid. Because they did what they thought was right. And you can all take that as a lesson if you want. If you don't, it's okay. Um, but, you know, if you, if you see somebody bullying someone else, remember to be brave. You're gonna be, you're gonna be afraid, but you might have to step in and say, hey, what are you doing? That's pretty much the same thing the veterans did at a different level. They, I'm sure all these veterans here, they were scared to death when they went to boot camp. But they did because they knew it would end up being the right, the right decision. Um, I work at Clear Path for Veterans. We help homeless veterans. We um, give a free breakfast to veterans and a free lunch to veterans every week. We do, we do train service dogs, if any of y'all are looking to help. Um, we're always looking for fosters to help raise those puppies. I'm a peer support specialist. My job is to talk to veterans. And, uh, you know, I go from talking to a veteran who doesn't have any friends to talking to a veteran who's going some, through something tough, maybe transition. You can do the same thing as well. If you see somebody that's really struggling, maybe they're in a dark place, reach out to them. Say, hey, what's going on? You know, anything I can do to help? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a super public speaker. These guys might say differently, because I see a lot of them, and they say I do nothing but talk and drink coffee. But, uh, you know, if, if you ever, I talk to veterans, but if anyone here ever needs someone to talk to, the, our office is always open. You know, sometimes you don't have somebody to talk to, or you're afraid to talk to someone in the school. Hey, come in. You can, if you want, you can just go downstairs and cuddle with the dogs. I don't care. <laughs> you know, make you feel better. But remember, just thank a veteran for their bravery. Thank them for their service, their, you know, years of not having weekends off, eating bad food, fighting for our freedom. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roger, for your service and all that you and your staff do for veterans. I clear a path for veterans New England on that This service... This, the, the services that are available to our veterans help so many. We are grateful to have your organization so close to our school. Next, Mr. Tully will honor a very special person to all of us. Mr. Tully. Thank you very much. On Saturday, October 19, 2024, there was a 100th birthday celebration held for Mr. Joel Landry at the War Memorial Building in Shirley, Mass. Today, I would like to recognize Joe for his service to the towns of Shirley and Ayr, defending our nation in the Battle of the Bulge in the U.S. Army, always being there for our students in this high school and for his friendship. Before presenting Joe with some gifts, he gave me his baseball card. I don't know if any of you know that or not, but he was, uh, he threw out the first pitch on September 19th, uh, this past year, at Bush Stadium, St. Louis Cardinals. Why the Red Sox didn't get him, I don't know, but, but St. Louis Cardinals got him, and I have his card right here, so I can share that with you afterwards. I'd like to share with you some pictures that we have of him here from our past Veterans Day programs. Here he is right here. This was taken uh, right after one of our programs, up at the front of the stage. The next one, please. Here we are, with Bert and Joe, me in the middle. This was about a month before he went to Bush Stadium to do the honors to throw up the first pitch. And one at the bottom there, with Frank Hyman as well, down at Karen's place there. there we, that's where we had our breakfast this morning, so thank you very much. At Joe's request, 
There will be a donation to the American Legion. Shirley Post 183 in lieu of a birthday gift. Now let me show you some other items I have. Because this was a surprise, I didn't know what size Joe takes, so I had to get both of them. Always be prepared, right? Like in Boy Scouts? So here it is. It says, old guys rule on the front, okay, USA. And on the back it says, made in the USA, old guys rule. And it's a back in the day, old guys rule. So I have a large one here, and I have an extra large. And I know that Joe will love this because when I see him shopping at Market Basket in Lemonster, when I'm in the bakery working, he always comes by and says, hey Steve, how you doing? And I see that he has some ice cream in there. So Joe, there's a birthday gift for you as well. And feel free to share with, with the guys down at the Legion and, up and elsewhere. It says, uh, thank you, Joe. And on the top of the Patriot Eagle, right on the top. So I'll come down and give these to Joe. Joe, if you want to just go to stand up. Sure. So you have to see. here that just got recognized. I'd like to recognize the rest of the veterans here, so I'm just going to take the mic down there. They can just say their name and where they live. Uh, Billy Auger, Sergeant, U.S. Marines. I live here in Air. My name is Staff Sergeant Russell. I'm with the Massachusetts Army National Guard, and I actually live in Somerset, far away from here. Um, uh, Ed Orr, um, uh, Marine, uh, living here in the area. Young Joe Landry from Shirley, 100 years old. Thank you all for everything. Gibson, Commander of the Air American Legion, Staff Sergeant Retired. Christopher Plunker, Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force Retired, all the way up here from Lakeville, Massachusetts. Charlie Jones, Master Sergeant Air Force Retired, formerly of Air, currently live in Fitchburg. Uh, 
I'm Steve Burnham, U.S. Navy, one of the few around. <laughs> I was in the Seabees and uh, from Air Mass, and pleased to be here to honor every veteran and Joe. <laughs> Richard Kendall, uh, Westminster Mass, uh, U.S. Marine Corps. Edward Scott Smith, United States Air Force, Staff Sergeant, and I live in air. Do we miss anybody in the audience? Anybody in the audience? A veteran? Huh? Anybody? We don't leave anybody behind. Now what I'd like to do at this point is to welcome to the stage Ms. Melina Savona and Angela Wynn is going to uh, stay right there where she's at and I'm gonna read her poem afterwards. So Ms. Melina Savion. dedicated to all the military who are still here and who are not. And I also dedicated it to my grandfather, um, Frederick William Burrow III, who is in the Army. So I created this painting in the school first with Mr. Sequin, and we created the whole canvas. And I finished it within two weeks. Each subject has a meaning behind it. So the tree represents the five branches of the military. The folded flag represents um, life, belief, and honor, and remembrance. Um, the planes rep three planes represent the military watching over the country and each poppy represents each veteran and their families. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. The poem that the veterans got included into their packet this morning, this is by Angela Wynn, a junior here. In fields of valor, courage stands, where freedom is forged by hands. They answered calls with hearts so bold, and the stories whispered, brave tales told. We owe them respect when the day is done. Their sacrifice shines like the sun. On Veterans Day, we honor everything they do. To all our heroes, from all of us, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Mr. Tully, for your tribute. And to Mr. Landry, I would like to thank Mr. Landry for participating. And thank you for Mr. Tully for letting us know about these beautiful painting and poem. We will now welcome Mr. Dustin Michelle, Ms. Riley Grant, and Mr. Stephen Kendall as they give their tributes to the family members who are veterans. Hello all, my name is Dustin Pischel. I'm a junior here at Air Shirley Regional High School, and I would first like to thank all our servicemen and women in the audience for defending our great nation. My brother Derek Pischel enlisted in the United States Army after graduating from Neshoba Valley Technical High School as an honors engineering student in 2024. Derek has graduated from basic training and is now in advanced individual training where he's working towards becoming a Chinook helicopter specialist with the goal of becoming part of the Elite 168th Airborne Unit, also known as the Special Operations Unit. 
Derek has earned an expert marksmanship level and is now the platoon leader of his 115 person platoon. I am extremely proud of my brother and his dedication and sacrifices he made to protect in our great country. Not only has he dedicated himself to defending our country, he's also experienced personal sacrifices such as enduring brutal, brutal physical training and spending time away from family and friends. Thank you, and I wish you all a happy Veterans Day. At this 26th annual Veterans Day program, I'd like to thank my grandfather for his service to the country and for recognizing veterans both past and present in our community. He's my role model, and I want to thank him for being here today. Grandpa, please stand up for being, to be recognized. My grandfather, Ed Orr, enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in 1960 while attending Penn State University. He went to boot camp at Paris Island in South Carolina, followed by advanced infantry training at Camp McKean. From there, he moved to technical training at the Marine Corps Recruit, Recruit Depot in San Diego, where he attended schools for basic electronics, communication, and networking, where he graduated first in his basic electronic course, earning a promotion to Lance Corporal, and later was selected to as one of the top four Marines to attend further Navy communication training at a Navy base in San Diego. There, he studied advanced communication technology including cryptology, and finished fourth in his Navy class. Receiving a letter of accommodation after completing his training, he was stationed at Camp Eugene in headquarters. He participated in maneuvers and worked in communications, maintaining the company's equipment. Eight weeks after his arrival, he was promoted to non-commissioned officer corporal. While my grandfather was never in Vietnam or on the front lines, his dedication and love for his country left a lasting impact on those around him, including me. His behind the scenes contributions were crucial to the success of his unit. His commitment to service continues to inspire my own sense of duty and serve responsibility. The story is a reminder that not all heroes serve in combat, but their impact is no less significant. He's who I inspire to be. He's my best friend, my grandfather, and most of all, my hero. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank all the veterans for their service to our country. Also to Mr. Tully for putting together the program and how much work he puts into it and the effort that it takes to put something of this on and what a great community event has become. So thank you, Mr. Tully, and thank you, our veterans. I'll be pretty brief. My dad is not someone who likes the spotlight, so uh, just getting him here was difficult. difficult. Ms. Rocco and I had to go up there and get him from the cafeteria to bring him down. He said he had work to do, um, but the biggest thing I want to thank him for is living the, the Marine Corps creed. He was a Marine, a corporal in the Marine Corps. He served in uh, Panama, in Vietnam, in Newfoundland, and in Puerto Rico. Um, but the, the Marine Corps credo of Semper Fidelis, which means always faithful. Not only did he live that as part of the Marines, he's lived that since uh, being completely faithful to our family, completely faithful to my mom and to our school. He's here every day, probably misses work more less than anybody I know, even at his age now, uh, serving lunch for all of us. So uh, thank you, Dad, for all you've done for all of us, and I speak for my two brothers and, and for Dana that we love you and we appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you. Thank you, Dustin, Riley, and Mr. Kendall, for your very touching tributes to your family members who are veterans. Next, Mr. Tully will offer his dedication to a late Mr. Donald Deemer. Mr. Donald Deemer, Sr. passed away on Tuesday, December 5th, 2023. He was born on February 16th, 1939. 
Upon graduating from St. Peter's Catholic High School, he enlisted in the U.S. Air Force and then went on to college and finally obtained his master's degree in education. He taught high school history, a subject he was passionate about at Air High School. He went on to be a very popular coach and guidance counselor, in addition to being an amazing husband, father, grandfather, and friend. This is how I knew Don. As a colleague and a friend who could be counted on when things got tough, I remember when I came to Air High School as a new faculty member in the fall of 1997. He was one of the first people to welcome me and show me the lay of the land, as he would say. I would always look forward to the half days when we'd go to Johnson's Restaurant in Groton, Mass to have a clam roll and talk about sports or what we'd be doing in the summertime. He would drop by my room and tell me, Steve, I got you some more people for the career day you're doing. Don was forever on your side and looked out for you. When he needed you to take students into your class because they were short credits, he would say, I'll get you two draft picks and a play to be named later. This was Don's way of saying that he will not forget you give a student a chance to graduate on time. When he was the head of the guidance or the teacher in charge, Mr. Parker, our principal, was not on campus, you knew you had his support. I remember what he always told me. People are either show horses or war horses. Be a war horse. Don was only, was only a colleague of mine for four years as he retired from the Air Public Schools in 2001. He enjoyed retirement very much golfing and traveling. I'd like to have one person who knew Don very well come to the stage to receive these flowers. Mrs. Sharon Lucchesi worked with Don for many years as a secretary of the guidance department for years. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome her to the stage. says we'll remember him when we're on the golf course having a clam roll or when one of our students tells us what we did for them had a direct impact on them and was positive in their lives. Thank you very much. Thank you Mr. Tully for remembering Mr. Deaner and thank you Mrs. Lechesi for being here today representing the Deemer family. Thank you. Next, I would like to welcome Mr. Burt Gibson, who will give local veterans remarks on behalf of the American Legions. They will. Thank you all for coming out today. Today's a, a hard day for me. One of my best friends, 97-year-old John Gordon, born in Poland in 1927, was captured by the Germans, was taken to Auschwitz concentration camp, determined that he was not Jewish by having a physical. He was sent to a slave labor farm in which he spent four years. At the age of 18, he was rescued by U.S. Army uh, recon uh, unit, and he uh, was recruited, recruited for the uh, Polish 
army. He uh, served at um, the he served at Nuremberg Prison as a perimeter guard. Nuremberg Prison was the prison where most of the uh, German uh, personnel uh, were called. Anyways, John, John Gordon right now is in a rest home. He's recuperating from a fall. He's 97 years old, and uh, I wish you all to pray for him. He's a true hero. He served 22 years in the United States Army, he spent two tours of duty in Vietnam, served in Japan and Germany. Thank you very much. Have a good day. for being here today and offering your comments from local veterans representing the Air Shirley, uh, the Shirley and Air American Legions. And thank you for your school support. Um, before, I, before I have Mr. Tully offer his closing remarks, I would like to express Nia's and my graduate, or, or, appreciation for all of the veterans. Mr. Tully. Before I begin on the closing remarks, I just wanted to uh, have everybody know how grateful we are for all the students out there for your undivided attention and great support and, and helping everybody have a great time today. Thank you. <laughs> and also for the two MCs, great job on the MC work over here. Dan Brannon, thank you very much. And all the student speakers, thank you so much for your help. I'd like to thank once again all the people who did the recognitions and, and Marina on a guard back there. Thank you so much for your participation today. Our band over here on the left, thank you so much. And also Mr. Dillman and his team from Air Public Assets Corporation. You can see this on channel eight. Thank you very much. Before I have Mr. Powerly and the band play the Armed Force Medley, I'd like to remind everyone that Paige Holtop will be having their Veterans Day program on Wednesday, November 6th, in the morning at the gymnasium. You're all welcome. Leadership education students have been working with the fifth graders, Isabel Pepin, Karen Tron, Leah Muhammad, Devin Gibbons, Riley Grant, and Olivia Larkin have been here at the high school helping the students there uh, to be the best that they could be. So thank you so much for your help. Middle School's program is going to be on Thursday on 11-7, and Laurel White's will be on Friday 11-8. I also have some gifts uh, afterwards for Mrs. Rodriguez in the front here for her help with the table uh, on the left, and also some other folks here as well. So thank you so, so much. Now Mr. Parley and the Air Shirley Marshall Mayor will play the Armed Forces on Parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud the veterans as they stand while the service song is played. Feel free to stand for the service branch of your family member as it gets played. The order will be the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, the U.S. Navy, then a 10 second break while they change their music a little bit, and then the U.S. Air Force and the U.S. Coast Guard. So thank you so much. This the problem.
Before I dismiss you to go to the rest of your directed study, I just want to have Mr. Deppie, if you could just come down, please, real quick. Mr. Deppie. As you know, Mr. Deppie was a principal at Page Hilltop for many, many years, and he was a very strong supporter of our program here at the high school. Many times he would bring his grade five students over here uh, to participate in our program. I just want to recognize him for all the years. He retired last June, but I just want to recognize him. Right. The veterans and the students involved in the program, as well as Mr. Deppie, will be getting a, a certificate like this that, that Mr. Swenson got for us. And he did a great job on it, and he even went back because they made some errors at Staples. So thank you, Mr. Swenson, for your att attention to detail. <laughs> it's a great honor that you recognize and the veterans or the person that's involved with the program for outstanding participation in the Air Shirley Regional High School Veterans Day program for the 2024-2025 school year on this 26th Annual Veterans Day program, Monday, the 4th of November, 2024, signed by Vanessa Abbott, co-president of the Leadership Education Program, Devin Gibbons, co-president of the Leadership Education Program, Dr. Marion Meyer, PhD, Yeshua Rizal High School Vice Principal, Mr. Spencer Christie, Yeshua Rizal High School Principal, and then my name as the uh, advisor of the program. So I'm so Mr. Debbie. Thank you, Mr. Tully, for the wonderful program, and always we've been together, including on it. Appreciate it. Thank you, veterans, all of you students. Great jobs in the being audience, and this has just been an awesome day, an awesome recognition. So we thank you all, veterans, and Marines. Wow. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize Staff Sergeant Russell. If you want to please go to come up here. He's our new instructor and our contact from the Massachusetts Army National Guard here in Devons, a program that we've been doing since 2024. Uh, and, and we've been doing since 2004 as well, so 20 years strong in the program. To Mr. Billy Auger from Clear Path for Veterans. Come on up. <laughs> Mr. Auger, how apropos is this? You train dogs, so I got you a mug, patriotic mug with paw prints on it. It says, Life is Good. <laughs> That concludes today's program. Thank you very much. See you next year. And we'll offer you the rest of the study for a few minutes before you head off to the rest of the school. Thank you so much.